second day in Berlin, Timo linked me up with his friend Jana, who's gonna give me a tour around all the outdoor spots. And we're starting at this place called Dog Sh Oh, Joby, what you doing, dog? Which looks insane. And it's actually not very far from where I'm staying. It's like a 10 minute walk. Let's go. Ah, another beautiful day in Berlin. Bugs right there. Sandra from yesterday, the guy that got the trip. He's gonna bring a skateboard for me today so I can actually try the skate park. Go hop the fence. Emerging out of the forest. Hey, there it is. Oh, he's got the drip on, of course. Yeah. How are you, dude? Hello. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. Look at this. It's like a copy of the skate park. Cool. You guys made this? No. <laughs> Might have to give it a little skate first. Yana <laughs> just arrived. Hey, how are you? This is Yana. And how are you? We've actually kind of met before. I was on her podcast a couple years ago. It's such a good idea having a mini version of the skate park next yeah. to the actual skate park. Skate park should start doing that. I just make it a thing. It used to be a DIY spot like 15 years ago. One other of the Black River guys decided to build this park here as a miniature. He created molds for these like big sections and then transported it here to Berlin. They built a foundation, then they poured the concrete. How many spots do you think we're gonna hit today? I made a list and yeah. we're first gonna start with six spots. So five cool. after this. Let's get it. <laughs> It's so hot. How can you survive if it gets hotter than this? I think you just shouldn't spend time in Berlin. When oh, <laughs> done at the dog that spot. Now we're gonna head to spot number two. Yep. It's called the A frames. So, how far away is this next spot? Not far. Yo, everyone's on a different thing. This is like rocket power. On oh, my first night in Berlin, I was off at drugs by a guy sitting right here. So, this area is called the Potsdam. And this used to be a very cheap area back when the wall was still up yeah. and ever since then it became like the cool and hipster like part yeah. of town. So here we are, second spot. This is called A-Frames. To the next spot. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of a dangerous spot. <laughs> got the water gaps, got these little rails that run along here. Firemen with unusually large noses. Alright, what you got, Sandro? Kick flip from here. Yeah. No way. This <laughs> will be legendary. 
Oh, no. Bro, it's falling in the soup. Now it's falling in the lake. Did you say syphilis? <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> oh no, not the syphilis. Yeah, my stiers. Oh. Oh. No. oh. no. U-Bahn? U-Bahn. Which is German for underground, basically. Well, this one's above ground. Yeah, this one is above ground. Yes. Uh, it's... That's it? Yes. We're on the train. Wow. So this is a, an old water pump. I think so. And it's the kind of spot where you want to bring this. Yeah. Uh, but we've been here when there was like... Just over the street? Yeah, behind the street. And this is Jana's favorite spot at the moment. Yeah. It's been hyped up since the beginning. That's true, <laughs> but it is really hyped. Oh, sick. Sweet. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're done with the spot, now I think we're gonna go back to Azzy. Thank yeah, you so man. much, Yana. My pleasure. Yeah. And just like that, we are back at the Azzy store. I'm Batman. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so weird to see you here. <laughs> Should we go down to the dungeon? To the dungeon! <laughs> wow! Yeah! What? Yeah, that's how I felt when I first came down here. <laughs> This is Timo. He is a fingerboard legend. But you as well. But you as well. Oh, Same. shucks. Oh, you're making me blush. That. Here's a question which I'm sure you get asked every day. What does as he stand for? Uh, officially stands for Alles Schön in Berlin, which you can translate with uh, everything's fine in Berlin or the mm. sun is always shining in Berlin. So how did like this shop come about? I was always having it in the back of mind while working at the skate shop. We were actually trying to open a fingerboard shop with the Tito guys already in Mitte. Mm. Then we calculated how many tech decks I need to sell a day mm. to have the rent coming in and that was just impossible. How yeah. many? Do you remember? 
Yeah, it was over, over 10,000 or something. Oh. But then maybe like three years later, I came on a personal point in my life where I didn't know what to do now. Going back to my former workers where I worked, worked in a hospital for 10 years, should I do this again? Or should I do this fingerboard stuff that I had in the back of my mind always? Yeah. And then I found this venue here, which was kind of luck. I met the house owners, they were super supporting me. And then yeah. we took Black River in to make the, the whole concept coming. And then we opened the fingerboard shop in 2010. I was talking about my special moves. I yeah. guess one of these is like just a simple hand blend, you know? Going up, getting the hand there and then going down again. Another one was like the front side boneless. It's not that complicated, but I, I love doing crab tricks, you know? To do the street stripper, it's impossible, I think. Oh, yeah. So I sort of lot how to do this with the fingerboard. And I think I found a way. Yeah, you, you throw it up, you try to catch it, then stable it. <laughs> but something else I love to do is you flip the board with the thumb. Oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait. You know, this is like the real finger flip. So this is That's what I love to do and yeah. also which still drives me doing it. I yeah. think it's important for, for you to find something that's still interesting for yourself. And yeah. for me it's still trying to develop new tricks. It was so good to meet you in real life. Hey, thanks David. That's amazing. Man, legend. This guy's a legend too. This, <laughs> I know him for like two days now. I got so many messages that this guy is the reason I start fingerboarding. This guy yeah. is the reason I start building boards. I just heard this so much in the last two days. Thanks David. Bro, thank you. Pulling this thing there. And maybe you do a hand plant here. <laughs> you got that sixties kind of vibe to you, and it's hard to be. Ain't gonna find it here in the century. Other Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Gritty.